Hey knuckleheads, welcome back to Sis in the City. So, Sis was in full troll mode on Thursday, first on the radio show, just saying outlandish things, and then later on the IG Live. Let's see what happens, shall we? But let's talk about the deal being in the church. Let's talk about how I was sleeping with pastors and bishops. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, Lord, hey. Has different sexual fantasies you and know? fetishes and, things and fetishes like and okay. stuff and things are weird to certain people right but this one took the freaking cake okay Uh oh. Lord this Jesus. man is sexually attracted to objects i am too i'm a, I, I, i'm i'm very attracted to doors okay well <laughs> i'm sure they're banging you like these balloons this man <laughs> what <laughs> Okay. What? Yeah, I like doors. That door you? What? Okay. What? Okay, well, you you can relate to this then. And I like glass doors, too. Well, what? you can, you can yeah. relate to this because this man is in a relationship, he said, with balloons. What? Yes, I'm not oh making this gosh. up. I'm going to post it. I'm going to post wait it Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He in a relationship with what? It's a group of balloons. <sighs> No, this is real, y'all. Ain't they popping and everything? Yeah. I'm not, oh, so that that the balloons be popping. Correct. <laughs> I'm gonna go to his house and throw a water bloom in. Y'all, he said every morning I wake up by saying good morning and give kiss to my balloons that sleep beside me, and vice versa. I make out with my balloons. At least you don't gotta worry about them talking and stealing from them. He said, uh, right? He said, the, he said the balloons are just as fragile as a human baby. I need to protect him from all. No, nah, wait a minute. So this is the story. This dude from India. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, the dude, the dude from India, talking about the balloons. Talking about I like their presence and warmth. Yeah. And share intimate feelings with my balloons and vice versa. When you're in love, you spend a lot of time. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this, British. He said he accepts all kind of flaws. British, why do you want to Every once got... in a while, about a, little, a little air might come out. Why do. <laughs> uh, little air? Well, we must got some strong balloons. Oh, you know, they, <laughs> you know, they do got some strong balloons out here. I forgot. Hey, hey y'all remember when you was younger and you used to. This is gonna sound sexual, but you used to like suck the helium out the balloons. But I, mean, I know yeah, he be, I know that's he, what he doing. I know he be going crazy. So okay, this just brings me. I to used the, to love that era. But then this brings me to the question. This is what I want to know. Yeah. What is the weirdest sexual fetish or fantasy you've ever heard from somebody? Because I've had stuff happen to me where I'd be like, "Yeah, I'm never talking to him again." Yeah, that are y'all was, ready? That can was I go weird. First? No, go please, ahead. Drew. I'm scared. Go ahead, Drew. Can, I'm I, can I go first? Go ahead. I want you to get in the shower and use it on me. Use which thing? You know, like pee on me. Okay. I, okay. Y'all are just... That ain't that bad. <laughs> that, that, ain't that, that ain't that bad. That ain't that bad. I mean... It's just like a woman's, <laughs> you know... Yeah, it ain't that bad. Y'all... Spurting a bottle on you. The, what's the weirdest thing you ever heard, Shorty? I'm... Listen. Are you out of the conversation? I'm... Yeah. I'm okay, not well, open listening. up to the callers. I know listening. they done heard some stuff. We I'm just saying, said, <laughs> Drew... <laughs> Hello? Can we talk about the door situation? Though? What about a door? Back door, front door, you know. <laughs> you know... <laughs> Hey, we gonna play this for Drew. He thought this song was called Adore. It's Adorn, but he just like, he just, he like, ooh, that song on the radio, Adore? Ooh, I love that song. So we thought Sis was a menace to society before. Now he's a human portable toilet who hunches on glass doors. Y'all need to watch out there in St. Louis. Moving right along. Time. Queen B, who do we have writing in this morning? What's the scenario? This is a female listener, and she says, hey, my husband of a year and a half has feminine energy, and I love that about him. Many skills he learned in prison. He was a drug dealer. You said what again? <laughs> My husband of one and a half years has feminine energy. Okay. I love that about him. Many skills he learned from being in prison. He was a drug dealer. He's a successful barber now. Okay. After I became pregnant, he said, good, women are for procreation. Men are for fun. Explain this. He refuses. 
Okay? Let me explain it to you. Okay? Your man is gay. <laughs> Back. Okay, so um, <laughs> the best thing I can tell you is that he's using you because I have dated a barber before, and um, oh yeah, I went, baby, I went all through the blocks, and I'm an open book. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> but let me just say this, girl, he's gay, and how do I know? Because the way you explaining it to me, the way you emailed the station and you explaining it to me. He's gay. I'm, I'm sorry to say. So wait, he said men, women are, what did he say? He said women are for procreation, men are for fun. Oh. So baby, he wants to be the Barbie. <laughs> Not the barber. The, boom, boom, boom. the, the Barbie. Barbie. Correct. He's just doing that because he wants, now I, I have dated barbers and barbers say, yeah, I'm just doing her because I need money. My wife, my girl, my wife is constantly getting on me about bringing income. So that brings in a lot of income. But at the end of the day, she does, she does not know that I'm a DL. DL mean down low. <laughs> well, well, we understand. I mean, well, and well, just because you've been in prison does not always make you gay either because there's some straight men in prison who's not gay. Right. But mm-hmm. I'm here to let you know all you got to do is don't set them in a room with me. I'm still delivered now. But temptation is always there. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, just watch out no, and watch him. I mean, this is yeah. You yeah. Know? Just watch him, and uh, all I have to say is, you might want to go get checked too, okay. because I, 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 I've never brought back a disease. And that's to be honest, I have never. I always get checked and all that, but I'm, of course, I'm not acting in it now. But there's a lot of people's bringing women back diseases, mm. I like they that. got yeast infections. They got, they got yeast infection. Yeast. They got crab <laughs> yeast infections. Girl, they got some, uh, I'm uh, sure you know my name. Whatever you and whatever you do, <laughs> they got balls on their legs. Don't well, leave, well, don't, don't know, leave dude around Drew when there's a glass door around. Correct. Well, it's a glass door right there. <laughs> you know that don't leave your girl around me. You playing for real? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so my best advice is, um, I know you like him, and I know you love him, and I know you're giving him chances, but girl, I'm sorry to say he, he said bring, what he said. Man, he, have he, fun. He, 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 yeah, so y'all might be putting on both makeup soon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Drew. Oh, so Sis has Gator now, except for when it applies to himself. Interesting. Now, Sis went from being all smiley, giggly, and just saying the dumbest shit he can think of, to having a complete meltdown in his astral van. Um, hey everyone. Okay, I got some big news. I got some news that I must share. Okay. I got some news that I must share. I want to warn you. So when your lawyers or when whoever reach out to you, you're not going to come back to me and say, well, how is that? How is that? I'm warning you. Okay. Um, so I definitely wanted to come on here and um, say this. And I say, I say this with loud and clear. And I say this on the suggestion of being saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah, no, actually. Um, I want to make sure everybody is on here. I'm going to let you guys load up. And, um, and this goes on today all the way until we finally get done. As you guys are aware, I took out a order of protection on a person that lives in Detroit. Okay. On today, my attorneys call in law group. We got a call today. Okay. And I need everyone to listen up. And if you have to screen record this, that would be great. You might want to get you some attorneys. If you have to um, pass this alone, you might want to. Um, as you guys know that I've been off social media, I've been on and off from Facebook because I have been working on my mental health and um, <laughs> I'm on my mental health. I've been working on my brand. Today, I got a call. Can you guys hear me? Oh, no, because baby, they are mad, honey, because I'm about to say some stuff. Um, Honey, they are mad, honey. <laughs> baby, so today... I got a call from the Department of Justice. I'm not going to say all the information, but I got a call. And when I tell you today, I received this email. I want you guys to read it loudly and clear. Good morning, uh, Mr. Caldwell. I received additional information that you sent. Thank you for collecting and sending it as you will be useful for more, uh, for moving forward in this investigation. Case building is not a fast process. 
I will keep you posted along the way. Thank you. Um, as you guys know, also, um, the Detroit Police Department and FBI. That's not funny. You you see, you were watching me and you know I'm live because you get your your cheap phone get a notification. You see I'm on live. Stop calling me before I block you. Okay, I'm gonna tell this information. Okay. Um. So as I can say, as you guys know, that anybody, any of my fans that follow that Instagram, even though it's private, we still are following that page. Not me. They have ways. And we have supporters who has access to that page, who has access to that live when that person go live. You do not want to get caught up in internet bullying. The Department of Justice and the FBI said if they have to arrest 20 or 30 to 40 to 50 people, they will do so. Stop, stop, stop. You capping right there, bro. I am putting this information out I don't care if I get in trouble. If you are following that page, you need to unfollow. Well, that's one. Two, if you have been on that YouTube in the past, I'm not talking about today because it's down. But if you have been on that YouTube, it, stop texting me. I know I, I'm not going to get in trouble. That's my team. I'm saying it. <laughs> I wanna, I, I, I'm putting this out. They say I'm a liar for the show. I got more to show. So they said, if you have been following that page and you have been sitting there allowing someone to bully people over the internet, you no, know, it's called internet bullying. That is a charge. Cause I know some of y'all are very highly educated and I know huh, some of y'all don't like me, but I want to put it out there. They said they're coming for everybody. They are building up a case and he will be charged. Mm. I want to put, let me, let me, let me put that out there again. I got this today. Um, um, also I want to put out. The Department of Justice, I can't say all that information because they asked me to do this in confidence. I'm saying this, I'm just saying a little, a little tease. They are investigating you guys. I just want to put that out there. I got this email this morning because they asked for some information yesterday. They are following their Instagram. They are reaching out to YouTube to say, YouTube need to say, was that YouTube page taken down for violating um, bullying or harassment? Whatever you, what, stop texting me you work for me remember that okay okay um as i say again there are going to be a lot of people locking up <laughs> they are going to investigate that whole youtube channel they they said that even though one person logged in but once you invite different people to that youtube Your URL. Are y'all kidding me? Stop texting me. Stop calling me. Are you serious? Can y'all hear me? This is stupid. I didn't. I told them to stop calling me. Can y'all hear me? Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. This is stupid. I, I didn't mean to come out here like this, y'all. Y'all, let me get off this um this live. Let me get off this live because y'all know I don't have. I don't have a team, so I guess I'm about to just go yell at my own self or yell at the tree. But anyway, I, any, 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 anything, <laughs> any, any, uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, so.
So I just want to make, and then also I will be sending out some cease and desist because what I have to do is I also have to build a case. Um, we got some addresses that we are also making sure that some of these people live there first. And we're, we're also going to contact our employees because I want to let you, I want to, some of y'all work as a nurse and some of y'all work from home, but I want to know, do your job know what's going on? You know, I just want to invite your bosses out to eat. I want to, I Okay. Ah, they are still texting me. They are still calling me. Let me get on this live. I'm not going to talk too much. Ah, y'all, we had a, we had some important calls today. And we had some Zoom meetings. For those that don't know, you will see in a, that. Like I said, I want him to continue to say what he want on live. I want him to continue to go live on Instagram. They're going to build up this case. And y'all need y'all help. I need y'all help on this. And the help is don't get caught up. Don't get caught up. Don't say nothing, y'all. I hope he's not listening. I want y'all not don't say nothing. Don't inbox him. Don't warn him. Let him continue to go live and say what he have to say. He has the freedom of speech. Okay? That's what they said. He has a freedom of speech. He has an order of protection and a cease and desist. Okay? So um he's not listening to all that. So we took it above some laws and um, I've been saying the FBI investigating this, but they got the order of protection and that 700 pound person continue to talk, continue to make pages, continue to make Facebook pages. I am very aware. So now they finna get them and I can't, you, you're going to jail. You going to jail. You going to jail. And not only you're going to jail in Detroit, you're going, you're going you're going to prison because we've been warned by several departments. The FBI came by your house. They called you. The sheriff department, the police department, the state, the state of Missouri, huh, 21st, uh, 21st jurisdiction. You got served. You refused. They say you, they think you above the law. Mm. Mm. Well, and we already talked to the, um, we have already talked to the prosecutor for federal, not the local prosecutor. And they're very aware. And you say, I don't think they're, oh yes, they do. It's called me, it, this caused me distress. He's, um, so I, I'm afraid to walk outside sometimes. I am afraid to eat. I'm afraid to lay down in my bed. I'm afraid to go shopping. I'm afraid to go to different cities because he said he's going to kill me. Mm. So, um, and, and, and that's what I believe. And that's what I feel. No one can't take that away from me. This man is dangerous. He's constantly, um, we, they already listened to video that he's so observed. He's figuring out my body. He's looking at my body. He's trying to see how he can, um, have sex with me. He's constantly stalking me. He's watching right now. Believe me. Um, so he's ordering stuff. He's disputing stuff. Um, so I'm afraid. And this person is so observed with, I'm uh, so observed with me. This person wants to kill me. And, we got that on the recording. And if I can post that video, but they said that's been used for evidence, I would do so. And one thing I don't have to do is lie about this email. I blew out her name and I blew out. And, and believe me, they are investigating it. Okay. Because they was just on the street the other day when he was on Instagram live. Okay. Okay. Mm. And no, they did not knock on his door. Well, I just have to wait and see when they come. Well, when they come, you're going to be shaking. They told you to find. She told you. She said, look her, you 500 pound man. She said, we told you to find something else to do. Well, everybody else doing it. Well, and everybody else even got cease and desist or they got their YouTube page. They take it down. You are constantly creating stuff 
to constantly trying to get me back. You're not getting me back and I'm definitely not helping you. What I'm trying to do is get you in jail. You deserve to be in there. And that's where you're going. All right. Bye, y'all. So, all I have to say is, whoever's following that page or whoever been going live in the past, we're coming for you. And I can promise you that. Okay? <laughs> you thought it was all over. I've been quiet. I've been coming on here praying. Yeah, I've been praying, all right. But I've been watching and praying. Mm. The Bible say watch and pray. Okay? That do not sign FBI. Child, you sound stupid. I'm not going to post all the information on there. I blur it out a lot. And I went up a little bit because you ain't going to see none of the information. Now, good night, boo-boo. Okay, watch and pray. That letter was not even on a letterhead. It was an email, stupid. Okay, anyway, so to all my supporters, thank y'all for praying for me. Thank y'all for loving me. And like I got to say, you can believe what you want to believe. Bye. You know, I can't wait till sis is over this whole victim storyline. I mean, according to Sis, he's stalking his stalker to make sure his stalker is still stalking him so he can have his stalker put in jail. Is everybody thoroughly confused now? Great. Till next time, knuckleheads.